Hi, my name is Charlie Flynn. I'm a freshman on the Louisiana golf team. To have a freshman come in and lead, lead the team in scoring average and, and to come in and, and, and be a leader on the golf course, it's just, it's a testament for what the future has in store because uh, it's just, his ceiling is high and it's just going to get better and better. I'm extremely lucky getting to play in all those tournaments and uh, building my confidence levels up and growing my game. So just all those tournaments and all those, all those really good competitions I've, I've played in uh, just really helped me come in and make a good transition into college golf. Charlie's fundamentals and his physical ability to play this game uh, from tee to green uh, is, is, as a young player, stuck out immediately. I've, uh, I've known Coach Slyman for a pretty good, pretty good time now, probably since I was about 12 or 11. He maybe started looking at me. And uh, I've actually known Coach Derek for about five years or so. He, uh, we, we put him up for housing one time when he was on the pro tour. And so we got to know each other then. But uh, they're, they're one of the best coaching staff in, in college golf, I think. And I think I uh, chose the right decision to come here and work with them. We recruited Charlie for quite some time. Uh, you know, we started early on the process and, and we shared with Charlie at, at a young age that we wanted him to, to be recruited, not only by us, but go out and, and explore. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, we want you to want to be a Raging Cajun. And uh, that's the beautiful thing in this relationship. Charlie truly, uh, truly has pride in wearing that logo. It meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to my, uh, my family, my friends, able to represent Louisiana. Uh, I could have gone out of state, but I just, I, I really wanted to play in Louisiana and just represent my home state. At a very young age, Charlie grew up in Alexandria, Louisiana, and then uh, noticed that he, he could better his golf game by maybe moving to Shreveport, which is about roughly two hours away. So as, as, a, as a sophomore in high school, Charlie moved on his own. Uh, to go to, to Bird High School where there was a plethora of some top-notch golfers in the likes of Sam Burns, Philip Barbary, Hayden White, uh, Nathan Janson, guys from Shreveport that we've seen go on and have some stellar not only college careers but ones having a significant uh, professional career on the PGA Tour. Well the reason we moved in the first place was uh, while I was living in Alexandria I was I was really the only junior golfer that would uh, practice almost every day and like stay out there till dark. So I was by myself a lot because my parents were at work. And uh, so I really just found myself not getting a whole lot better. So we decided to move up to Shreveport, which is filled with like amazing golfers. I'd say the overall move to Shreveport just made me who the golfer I am today. I got a whole lot better up there. And uh, I, it was probably the best decision I'd ever made. It, it, it took a big sacrifice and a mature sacrifice to live by yourself as a 16, 17, 18 year old. It takes a lot of maturity. And uh, so he's stepping on campus this fall, uh, knowing how to wash his own clothes, knowing how to cook for himself, um, knowing how to do, do some of those things that the normal freshman maybe doesn't know. I had to wash my clothes and a little bit and uh, do the dishes, but uh, never really had to grocery shop, never got that far. So I'm extremely thankful for uh, what my parents have done for me. I mean, I can't thank them enough. So that's why, that's why I want to get back to them when I'm older. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, they made some, some really big sacrifices for me 